Dad's Army fans were given a look inside the history of the BBC hit comedy show in Channel 5's recent documentary. The Secret Lives of Dad's Army shared the many secrets about cast members, their lifestyles whilst working on the show and the success of the series. Private Pike star Ian Lavender opened up about the death of James Beck and how it impacted the whole cast's decision on continuing on the show. Much like John LeMessurier, James Beck was a heavy drinker and found a firm friendship and kindred spirit in John. Comedy writer Emma Kennedy said, they were renowned for going out and being big boozers and live the life and head into Soho, famous 60s Soho, and quite frankly have the time of their lives. John's third wife, Joan LeMessurier, giggled about their friendship and said, John and him used to come home from work every night and sit at the table and get absolutely PD. They'd have a lovely evening, and they were great friends, and he was a very naughty boy. Sadly, James' lifestyle eventually caught up to him, after being taken ill, he was rushed to hospital where he was diagnosed with pancreatitis. James fought for his life, which meant his character Private Walker had to be written out of the final episode of the series. Ian opened up about James' death and said, It's one of the sad, poignant, a sort of ooh moments, there was a letter on the floor. A clip of the scene began to play, where the captain read, Dear Cap, thanks for letting me off, had to go up to the smoke for a few days to do a deal. Priscilla Dunn began to say, they did a quick rewrite saying he's gone up to the smoke, meaning London, got some business to do up there. I can remember seeing Clive's face just standing there, and suddenly he wasn't Corporal Jones at all, everyone was so upset. Just three weeks after he was taken ill, James Beck passed away at the age of just 44, he was the second youngest member of the cast, with his death putting the future of Dad's army in doubt. Ian remembered, there were sad times along the way, the saddest obviously was the death of Jimmy Beck. Dot we didn't think we'd get over that quite honestly, we were very unsure about doing the next series without him. Luckily for fans, Dad's Army went on to make three more series and became one of the nation's most beloved comedies. By the time Dad's Army came to an end, inevitably, time was catching up with the elderly cast, and just three years later, John Laurie passed away at the age of 83. Arthur Lowe and Arnold Ridley would follow in the next few years, and by the early 1980s, John LeMessurier was also increasingly plagued by ill health. His heavy drinking had led to him developing cirrhosis of the liver, to which his ex-wife Joan revealed, he was a sick man. But he realized he had bought it on himself, in fact, his last words were, I'm fed up with it now, and he died that night. Ian Lavender is the only surviving member of the Magnificent Seven, and he has enjoyed a long career on stage and screen. He said, I haven't stopped working until I reached the age that John Laurie and Arnold Ridley had reached when they started in Dad's Army, it was all a bit of fun at the time, and we loved it. Dad's Army, Secret Lives and Scandal is available to watch on my 5.